Hey, what is up internet? Kyle here with the pride. So I'm gonna run in front of these two guys. So we have Tom, we have Chris, the pride. So today we're gonna do a little bit different video. I showed you what it's like for a pride Norden watch party where we actually go to BC's and Liberty. Today we're actually hitting up Molly Malone's in Covington. This is where the normal pride, our main supporters group, uh, actually meets up. Most of so, them are normal. Well, yeah. True. Yeah. Now, is there anything normal that we do? Yeah. The, mo the mother <laughs> And it's, it's pouring rain because it must be match day. Right. As in Cincinnati, it would be any different if we didn't have any rain. But, uh, so yes, yeah, so we're going to go down there. We're going to hang out with them, show you what their watch party looks like. But first, we're going to hit up a little German place called Hopper House, which I believe is like a, is a chain, right? Well, there's only uh, three in the world. You can call that a chain, yeah. Oh, is there, is, I yeah. thought there was more than three. It's a small chain. Okay. Maybe, it, maybe there's only three. <laughs> So there's one here in Covington, Kentucky. One so biggest one in Pittsburgh, one here. Okay. And then Munich. So yeah, so it's not really a chain then, <laughs> but it's uh, way back there if you guys can see it. But we'll show you some closer video, but uh, we're gonna hit Popper House for some dinner, some beers before the game, and then uh, we'll show you Molly Malone's, where hopefully we will actually get a result from San Jose, but we'll see. So we'll see you guys see in Hopper House. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, so it was what, a 45, 50 minute wait for uh, Hopper House. So we are not going there. <laughs> so we're not for sure exactly where we're going to go, but uh, we'll show you whenever we get there. Alright, so our next spot is actually here, Party Source. So there is a brewery called Braxton Labs. Braxton is actually in Covey, Kentucky, but they have a lab, small batch area that's here in Party Source, which is like a giant liquor store. So we're about ready to go in, have some beer, watch the derby, and then we're gonna head over to where we are watching the watch party tonight. But uh, so yeah, so the next place we'll see you is in Party Source. <laughs> So Tom, Chris, and I are all sitting at Braxton Labs, and it's Derby Day, and apparently there was an obstruction with the Derby. We don't know what that means. We have no idea what's going on, but now there's drama. VAR, right? So as Tom just pointed out, there's another Twitter feed that's saying another sport with video review. I, I don't know if I can handle this drama. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a I lot mean, of, no money on the horse, but these, <laughs> these poor jockeys, right? He, I mean, he looks very upset. I feel like they're not going to win, even though they won. It's very exciting. I mean, this is drama as finest. And look, I don't know if you can see that. They have the war room in Toronto as hockey. I would assume that's Lexington, in Kentucky, trying to determine. Does the, uh, does the jockey get a red card? Right. Red card, five minute major, yeah. one of the two. Something with hockey or ho hockey, soccer, right? So uh, we're watching this with pins and needles. It's unbelievable TV. So we have no idea what just happened, but apparently the second place person won because they were in a lane. There was, there's been nothing but music going on, so we have no idea what happened. Yes. So we have a mix of hockey and soccer and everything going on right now with horses. And uh, apparently, right now, I know you're good. And uh, disqualification. So the winner didn't win. Second place apparently won. We know nothing about horse racing. But uh, that would. I'm a fan of this guy because so he's wearing yellow and black. Kids, yeah, the oh, answer to this is uh, play uh, ball sports. Right? <laughs> uh, we got some roundabouts, new roundabouts up there. And some of them are clueless. They'll sit there and wait and wait and yep. wait forever. All right, so as I almost walk into a parking meter, I wouldn't we. I about that had you not <laughs> tried to get me in my bag. My, my bad, my bad. I really did. <laughs> so uh, we are at Molly Malone's here in Covington, Kentucky. And this is where the Pride, so this is the actual main Pride, not the Norton or the 812 or any of the chapters, 
This is where the actual pride meets up for their watch parties. We wanted to give you guys just a little taste of what it is like to actually come to an actual pride away watch party. So we're gonna go into Molly Malone's. We're gonna have some food. We're gonna watch FC Cincinnati. Hopefully we come out with at least a goal because it's been a little bit rough lately, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, hopefully it's a good match. So uh, Molly Malone's. Coming to Kentucky, here we go. Regardless, yeah. So, yeah, so the United Right, right. Like you're getting married now. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, me? So we are in Molly Malone's, and one of the really cool things is Molly Malone's actually gives the pride the whole second floor. So as you can see behind me, there is a ton of people here, all ready for FC Cincinnati. The match is about to start, it's on the TVs behind me, but this is a really cool setup. So if you're in like the Cincinnati, Covington, Kentucky area, definitely check out Molly Malone's. Really cool spot, but here we go, FC Cincinnati. Hopefully we get three points. Let's go FCC. second half and actually get some pressure on Nets, uh, get some good build up, but we will see. But we are still having a blast here at Mind Loans. So I'm finally getting time to actually edit the trip that Chris, Tom, and I took down to Molly Malone's and Covington to hang out with the normal Pride watch party and show you kind of exactly what that's like. And that was so much fun. So I'm finally glad I'm finally getting to edit that. We actually have a match today against Orlando City. So I wanted to just shoot that, show you another Northern watch party. And yeah, finally just put out a video. There's so much that has happened in between that San Jose match. And now we fired Alan Koch, which actually I was really happy about because I was not a big Koch fan. I didn't like him last year in the USL. I thought he got out coached when we played good teams and he just wasn't a very good coach. He's a very good salesman, but I don't think he was a very good coach at all. He definitely didn't get the most out of the players last year when he was handed an all-star team and we could barely beat teams. And when we played good teams, we lost. Uh, but not that I just ran on Alan Koch. I just personally did not like him as a coach and I am not that sad to see him go. But now we have assistant Johan DeMay. He is in. Uh, we actually scored a goal. We scored two last week versus uh, Montreal Impact. We won that match. So our losing streak is over. Our goalless streak is over. And today we play Orlando City. So I'm hoping all this continues well. Uh, so I wanted to just do another little video of, yeah, the watch party and kind of share my thoughts on Koch and those type of things. Uh, we're going to meet Tom actually at a burger place in Liberty Center uh, in Westchester, Ohio. So we're going to go grab lunch there and they have a fantastic turkey burger. I'm not eating red meat anymore. So it's been a little bit of a challenge because I love burgers, but I found this place has a fantastic turkey burger. So I've been eating that. So we're going to go up there and meet him. Uh, have some lunch and then go over to the watch party. So let's get going. So we're about ready to go into Flipside Burgers. All right, so we are all done at Flipside. Fantastic as always. We are walking into BCs now. Uh, so the starting 11 was just announced and honestly, I'm not super crazy about it, but I'm not the head coach. We have a new head coach. He's trying different stuff. So hopefully this is all gonna work out, but we're gonna go into BCs right now. There you go. You oh, do you not see you the- got, uh, You got Tom in that one. I did get Tom in that one. He was in the other one too. All right, so we are here at BC's. Got a really good, got a really good group. I can't talk right now. Of SC Cincinnati fans here. So uh, yeah, match start start. Ben, as you can see on a ladder, is turning on the sound for us. And let's go FC Cincinnati. <laughs> Oh, 
damn it. All right, full disclosure, I just missed Brad on the telecast. Tom tried to get me to record it. I wasn't able to, there's Mike. But uh, first half is in the books. Maddox with an unbelievable solo effort. Amazing goal. That's what he really needed. We didn't look great, but we didn't look bad. Ledesma had a rocket off the post. That looked amazing. But yeah, like I don't really feel positive or negatively. It's 1-1 at, here at halftime. We did give up a goal. Uh, Mike's gonna hold up his Norton scarf, as he should. Love you, Mike. But uh, yeah, not a bad turnout here at BC's. A lot of blue and orange. So hopefully the second half we're able to put together some more passes uh, and definitely get some more pressure. Uh, we really weren't super offensively minded that first half, but I think we can do a lot better. And uh, hopefully we get some good scoring opportunities. And Garza is the only thing that is kind of really the negative because that looks really, really bad being stretchered off. And I think he is a key, like, linchpin to our team. So hopefully it's not as bad as it looks, but he did go down like the first 10 minutes, which kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, hopefully the second half is much better. We're able to put at least one more in, not give up any more, and we take home three points. All right, so that second half definitely did not go anywhere near what SD Cincinnati or any of us fans wanted to happen. Uh, yeah, that was kind of terrible. Uh, and I'm actually filming this Monday afternoon because I definitely needed to let that one sit a little bit before I have any reactions or anything like that. But uh, positives, man, that Ledesma strike, like if that just would have been an inch lower, that would have definitely been in. Uh, fantastic pa pass, I believe, from Maddox to him in the box. Uh, just unfortunately hit the post. And then Maddox, thank God this guy finally, he's been working his butt off. And honestly, he's been creating a ton of chances for us, just putting them wide over the bar, just some bad bounces off the post. And finally, man, what an unbelievable individual effort. He was able to roof that, and it was stellar. And then the wheels just kind of fell off, to be honest. Uh, some of our defenders that usually have really good games had terrible games. Uh, it seemed like, I don't know if the heater or whatever was getting to us, that's not an excuse, or it should be an excuse, but it just seemed like we weren't running full steam. We were just kind of making some dumb fouls, and they broke us down, unfortunately. 5-1 so in the final, so definitely not what we wanted at all. We definitely got our butts handed to us. And I think probably the biggest disappointment of the whole match is Greg Garza going down, I believe, like in the 10th minute. It was super early. Uh, so my good buddy Chris, he is actually in Orlando, and he saw Garza in the airport with a full walking boot and crutches. Uh, I haven't really heard anything officially from the team yet, but that's probably not a good sign. And it really sucks too, because I feel like he is our linchpin this year. He is so good, he is so dynamic. It changes our team when he's actually in there, and you've seen that the few games he's been able to play. And I don't know, it just feels like he wants to be a part of FC Cincinnati. And I this, yeah, this just kind of hurts because I, he's a guy that wants to be here, he wants to prove himself, he wants to play well here. And unfortunately, he just keeps getting hurt. Uh, so hopefully it's not as bad as what it looked like or kind of what we're hearing. Um, so fingers crossed, but yeah, hope that was probably the worst part of the match, uh, seeing Garza go down. Uh, hopefully the team kind of rallies around this, realize they kind of got embarrassed a little bit, and we come back next week against New York at home. Uh, the Red Bulls, not New York FC, but uh, the actual Red Bulls, uh, they're going to be at Nippert Stadium Saturday, 7.30. We will definitely be there. We're actually taking some friends that uh, will be their first ever match. So I'm super excited to have them experience uh, what it's like to be in Nippert and go to an SC Cincinnati match. Uh, so that's going to be super cool. Uh, I am doing some away days here very shortly, so expect some really cool videos from that. Toy Front, I know I, I'm kind of mixing channels, but you know what? I, I gotten feedback, people like the kind of eclectic mix of everything. Uh, toys, I have an awesome hot toy coming Friday, I believe it should be here. Um, so I will definitely be doing an unboxing and a full review of that. Uh, I have a toy hunt video I actually shot Saturday with Cincy and Josh. Uh, I can't wait to get that up. That'll probably be up Wednesday. So I got a lot coming uh, down the pipe. Uh, hopefully gonna have a lot more time to do these type of videos and the away days I cannot wait. So it's gonna be a great time. Thanks for watching these videos. Let's go FC Cincinnati, win or lose. This team has given me so much, a love for the city, a love for this club, so many close and personal friends that, uh, yeah, I, win or lose,
this is my club. I'm going to support them. I'm going to give everything I have and everything I do to it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, rough times are going to happen, but we're going to get through it. This is going to be an amazing club, and just got to be patient. So, I'll see you guys later.